very first consciousness um, about feminism, although I didn't use the term, was when I, I was doing my law course, my LLB, um, you know, we, we had some Marxist professors who, they were in the minority, but they, they, they for, they, they highlighted for us um, social inequalities. Obviously, they were focusing on um, class, social class uh, inequalities. But um, I remember one day, as a by the way, one of the professors mentioned um, inequality between men and women in society, and it struck me. I had never thought about it. And then I started noticing, even in the law that we were learning, the, the, you know, the law itself was employing double standards for men and women. And, you know, like, for example, the law on prostitution, it, 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 it would target, you know, sellers of sex, most of whom are women and not, not buyers. Or the law on criminal um, adultery, which targets wives, but um, leaves husbands to go scot-free. So it was then that I became very conscious. And I, I remember when I went to do my master's, I did a course on um, women and the law. And I started reading. I was introduced to the literature because I did my master's in, in the US. African-American feminist literature, Audre Lorde, um, uh, Barbara Smith, Maya Angelou, and I've never looked back. Feminist scholars have provided um, the tools and the strategies for understanding, analyzing and challenging oppressive structures like patriarchy, like capitalism. And, you know, so we in the academy, some of us who are in the academy, we, we work together with the people in the, um, in the civil society, you know, activists in civil society, feminists in civil society, so that, you know, the, the, the research that we, um, we conduct informs the activism, just as the activism informs our research. So I think we have contributed in, uh, you know, sharpening our analysis of the kind of oppression that we as women um, face, especially in Africa. I think we, it took us a very long time to really open up and understand how sexuality is part and parcel, is at the center of um, our subordinate status. So I, I, I believe that without um, that theorizing, it would have been harder it would have taken longer for us to really, you know, get to the, you know, the, the real issues that we need to tackle as African feminists. There's, there's been tremendous backlash um, against feminism in this continent um, for obvious reasons, and there's been a, a many attempts to roll back all the gains that we have made thus far. So, I think the biggest challenge is for us to contend with uh, that backlash, particularly the different fundamentalisms that we see in the court, not just religious, but also cultural and political fundamentalism, economic fundamentalism. You know, IMF, World Bank prescribed uh, policies that are really, you know, um, you know, 
just exacerbating uh, our oppressions. So I think that is one of the things that we really need to contend with as feminists. You know, when I think about feminists, women, who may never have heard of the F word, I am humbled, I'm extremely humbled by um, women who, against all odds, and with a positive spirit, have done a lot. Many of them lie in unmarked graves. You know, ordinary women whose names we don't know, unsung heroes, who have done a lot for their families, for their communities, you know, as food providers, as dietitians, as managers, as low laundry, laundry people, doing, you know, juggling so many things and dying without anyone, you know, acknowledging them. Those, for me, are the real sheroes. And oh, woman, find your soul. And don't let them tell you that this isn't yours Cause you are yours, your voice, your power, your soul Baby, don't let them tell you that this isn't yours Cause you are yours, your voice, your power, your soul Your voice, your power, your soul Your soul, your voice, your power, your soul Oh, oh, woman, won't you find your voice? Say, woman, won't you find your soul? Cause this is yours, oh, baby, you are yours. Your voice, your power, your soul. Your voice, your power, your soul.